Greetings from ThemeRex team. Today I'll show you how to create and customize galleries with Essential Grid plugin. This premium plugin comes bundled with plenty of our themes free of charge. So let's go ahead and check how it works. It's a default gallery style with category filters and images grid. When you click on one of them, it opens in a light box. Let's edit this gallery. In your dashboard, find the Essentials Grid plugin. We currently have just one grid. Let's open it. You will see the navigation bar on the top of the page and preview below. Let's customize the light box first. Change the gallery mode to All Items. On the right top corner, click Save and return to our page. Let's refresh it and see what happens. Now when we open the image, we have a slider to switch between the images. Ok, good. Now let's go back to our settings and open the Navigation tab. Scroll down and customize the filters. We currently have categories Beauty, Receipts and Sport. Let's add two more, for instance Food and Yoga. Save the changes and go to our main Naming tab. When you click Edit on the image, we can customize the settings of the particular image. For now, let's just assign the new category Food to this image. And for the other image, let's assign a new category Yoga. And then click Update and refresh the grid. Let's update our page. Alright, we have two more categories in our filter and they work just fine. Let's go back to our settings and open the grid settings. As you can see, there are plenty of them. For now, we will just change the number of pictures in a row for a desktop and laptop devices. Now we can refresh the preview and save the changes. When we go to our live page, we can see that we now have two images per row. But now let's change the grid's layout a bit. In our settings, we can choose the even style, masonry style and cobbles. Let's go with the last one. Now scroll down to our previous section and open one of the images settings. In the item settings, let's change the ratio to width 1, height 2 and update the grid. Let's save the changes. When we refresh our page, we can see that the image now is twice higher than it was and the grid looks pretty nice this way. Let's edit the first image as well. Open the item settings and give it width 2 and height 1 right here. Also, let's customize this image and give it width 1 and height 2. Save all the changes and refresh our page. Ok, it looks pretty nice. You can also use pre-made skins from the plugin. Let's change the layout to Even and open the Skins tab. Here, by hovering on the image, you can choose the skin that works best for your gallery. There are flip boxes, slide in and out, color change effects, etc. Let's pick one of them and save the changes. Now when we go back to our page and refresh it, we can see that our gallery has a custom visual effect with a color change and links to our image. Let's go back and see what else we can do. If we go to a navigation tab, we can also add controls to our gallery. For instance, these right and left errors just drag and drop them there. Save them and again refresh the page. Ok, good! We now have these controls that can scroll our gallery. As a source of your gallery, you can use images, posts from your blog, videos, etc. You can modify this in your Source tab. Let's choose Posts and display just certain categories of the posts from our blog. Save the changes and again update the page with our gallery. Now these are all featured images from our posts. Let's go back and add one more category. 
save the changes and update the page again. Great, we have three categories on the top and our articles below them. Hope this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe for more useful tutorials.